Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. With our pup river, we travel full time in our camper van, Sophia, and we're spending the winter months exploring as much of Turkey as we can. Last week, we had a new addition to our family. Everyone meets Scout, a street dog who lived in a hole in the wall, now getting ready for a lifetime of adventure and all the cuddles he can get. Subscribe and join us for the ride with the new videos every Sunday. Okay guys, we've woken up in the campsite that we stayed at with Chris and Mariam when it was the opening of the Turtle Center. They've got washing machines, loads of space. They've got a big, huge green enclosed field, which is perfect for Scout because his recall is pretty much non-existent right now. So it's a really nice place just for us to decompress, especially after picking Scout up and just kind of sorting everything out. I got my mind. Do you want me to come and help? Yes, Thank you. If there's one thing you should know about Ben is that he hates hanging washing out on his own. It has to be a team effort. I always end up getting roped in. Sometimes I feel I shouldn't be. Look at all that stuff we've got in here. Look at this. Oh my god, I remember that. Do you want to tell everyone what this is? This. Slightly embarrassing was I saw on TikTok people doing like, uh, what they're not river fishing, uh, canal fishing, not for fish, but for stuff people have thrown in. And it's, this is a heavy duty magnet, I won't put it near anything. Um, and you just launch it in, and you basically drag it through the, the river. Or pick up trolleys and Pick up bloody. trolleys or hidden treasure. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot I had it. That would have been perfect to tie the um, exhaust on. What have we got? So we've got a goodie bag. Get out. Come here. If the collar fits. Oh, it fits him. Perfect. Oh, look oh. at that scout. It suits him. Oh, that's him. really good scout. There he is. <laughs> He's quite happy with that, so I'll leave him with that. But yeah, so harness fits, it's collar fits. They love these like semi moist dog treats. I know a lot of people love that one. Have you noticed it says that? No, I didn't. Now you're just making it weird. <laughs> I think someone's in a bone coma. He has just spent the past hour chewing on his little bones. And I think it's knackered him out. Look how cute he looks in his little collar. Watch this. Alright. If I try... Hello, Scout. He does not move. <laughs> so much He's like a little lump, isn't he? River's over there, wait, itching to get back outside again. Okay. There we go, see, so just flops on the side. Ready? <laughs> I think it must be, it must be such like a, it must be such like an alien concept to him. Look. He doesn't know what happened, and then he, it's actually small on him, and it's light and it's tight on River. So you, he is quite skinny. Yeah. River is like keen to get somewhere. Scout just wants to plod around. We were here a month ago, swimming in the sea, waiting for the turtle centre opening. And now look at it. The waves are huge. That swell is massive. That's insane. We might want to be quick because our washer is out and that is a big black cloud coming this way. Scout. Hi. <laughs> no. Okay guys, we are leaving the campsite this morning. We've had a good van life reset here. Our main task for this week is to try and get a vet sorted for Scout and to get the ball rolling on his paperwork so that we can actually get him out of Turkey. Winter has arrived. It is gonna be a blustery week. And so, rainy. And rainy. Um, 
desperate times calls for desperate measures. It's one of those days. It's a noodle kind of day. Does anybody else make noodles with military precision? Ben has actually got a timer on. Three minutes. It's like a military operation going on when Ben's cooking. I say cooking, heating up noodles. But thank you for doing this. Yeah, I'll give you a my side. Here you go, Okay, go on then. What's the verdict? They don't taste bad. But I like it. I don't know if you can see. Someone's put too much water in. Right, what are you two doing? Look, see. Oh, I am going to go to the shops. Okay. It's all some food. Oh yeah. Because you... for once, there's like a supermarket and walking distance, which never happens. But uh, it's not got to carry everything. Yeah, you can be like carrying all the doggy food back. Oh, shit. Yeah. How many? Just do I need? um. Why are we Um. Where's Scout? There's a spa next door if you wanted to go there any time this week. Is there? Yeah. You can treat yourself. Oh, you mean a beauty spa? Well, I thought you meant a spa shop. No, <laughs> no, a spa <laughs> thing. Let's go. There you go. Bye bye. It wasn't the best shop in the world, but look at the suckers of these spring onions. Oh my god, what are we going to do with those? Eat them. Like a my oh my god, how big do you think our fridge is? Look how big this pineapple is. Look at this little cool. pineapple prongs. It says gold extra sweet. Ooh, very nice. One thing I love about Scout is that he is just so happy with a bone. River will chew a bone for maybe like five minutes max and then get bored and then she wants to do something else. Scout will stay there for like an hour, just like happily throwing his bone around and chewing it and Simple things keep me happy, which is nice. Takes after you, babe, doesn't he? That's why I'm with you. Oh, that's a <laughs> Where we're parked is a little bit boggy. And we've got rain forecast for three, four days now, and we're here for that, that time. It's pouring down now, and I don't want to get any more boggy where we can't get out the slope. So I think we're going to move. There's a hard standing over the other side of the road, which is barred off this side, but if we can drive all the way round, we can come in the other side. So, we're going to move. We are going to move before we get stuck here. Getting bogged. Okay, so, yeah, look, see? And where shall I go? Here is good. Yeah. Oh! oh I heard that. <laughs> You want to get river? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nah. Oh yeah, kiss kiss. Yeah, you sweet thing. Can you say that? How bad this weather is. I know. No leeks? No, no leeks. No. Any, any onions? Oh, it's not funny. It's not funny. Okay, yeah. so. We're actually in Dalian because we we're trying to sort out a tourist residency visa, which is something you can do to extend your stay in Turkey for about a year. We need to go out and get our photos done today, but we can't get out in this. We it's are not going out in this crazy. weather. We just like hold up in the van today. You don't need to use an agent, you can do it yourself. We are using one that we know through a friend just because it makes it a little bit easier. We haven't got to sort out all the paperwork ourselves. So once we've had our residency confirmed, there's a couple of things we need to do for the van. The first is we need to go to customs and extend the stay of the van. At the moment, it's only at three months, which is what we were allowed when we crossed the border. That gets extended to a year. We then need to get uh, new insurance which will cover us for the year as well um, which the agent is going to help us out with as well um, 
And there was one else thing to do. Oh, and uh, ah. driving license. Now, being on a UK driving license, I'm only allowed to drive in Turkey on that license for six months. So there are two options. One is we only stay for six months. So the first three months we had on arrival, and then we use this visa and uh, stay for three months, and then we leave in March. Or the second is just before um, the six month period, we drive out and go to Bulgaria, stay there for a couple of days and then come back in. So the six months starts again because it's based on the stamp in your passport on arrival. Or I can go and fly off to Bali and spend a couple of months in Bali whilst Chess and the dogs travel around Turkey. Oh really? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh really? Do. Okay, there's been a little respite in the weather. We're just gonna head down to the photo booth now. We're bringing Scout with us because we're not 100% leaving him in the van on his own just yet. Even with River, um, he m probably will get a bit of anxiety and I don't know what he's gonna chew, so. Yeah, this is the car park we came into last night. Okay. Ah, thank you. Okay, we're back. It's not as bad as my passport one where I literally look like a Russian hit woman. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's not as bad as mine. Go on. That's all right. Oh my God. I think, seeing as we're stuck in the van, we should make some pancakes for lunch. Yes, what please. Thoughts? Yep. Yeah. Pineapple, oranges, honey, and oh my god, it's like being back in Bali. Thank you, baby. Where did we get this from? Um, that little village in Greece, Papago. Mm. This is fur honey. It's really good, isn't it? Mm, it is really nice. Once more for a walk. Can we have a paw? Paw? Oh, <laughs> so good boy. There we go. And this paw? This paw? We are almost certainly going to get caught in a downpour again. It might not be the nicest of days, but it is beautiful here. These huge mountains. It kind of reminds us of like Asia or something. Come to Turkey, they said. Get some winter sun, they said. Everything. Oh my god, we just had to run back oh. in the rain and it didn't stop. And... <sighs> oh my god, I like I've been beaten up. This one has only just dried off. I still haven't dried off, and all my clothes are wet because I had like three layers on and they're all wet. So, somebody doesn't look so keen but needs to. Somebody <laughs> is waiting at the door. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite coat ever. This. That's it, you've got four coats out now. Oh my god, yeah, but this is the only dry one. Oh, I love this coat. It's actually my warmest coat anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that was short lived because it's side raining again. Can you see this, guys? We have got ourselves some blue sky. Those storms yesterday were literally something else. I've never seen rain like it. So, how is this little guy settling in? How are you settling in, Scout? Do you want to tell everyone? Right. <laughs> you said that. Right. Right. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Hello. 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 Hello
DVD <laughs> fan apparently. It's okay. <laughs> 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 this little guy has taken so well to being in the van. I actually think it's not been as big of a change as we thought it might be. I think the biggest change was definitely going from no dogs to one dog. When we first got this little one, this little tornado, our lives felt like they'd been flipped upside down. These two just play. Like this to keep themselves entertained. Obviously we need to take River out for wheeze and for walk so we just, Scout just comes along with us. So in that sense it isn't too different to normal which is great. But we're a bit worried that he's used to just like roaming around on his on his own like deciding where he wants to go being a little independent guy and he, that he might feel a bit contained in the van. But he's honestly just happy to be wherever we are and if we're in the van obviously we've been <laughs> trapped in the van the past day day or two with the really bad weather guys and he's never once like struggled to get out of the van he's just chilling he's happy to just chew on a bone sit on the cushions and stuff so i think he's really happy just to be here oh my god he's a very calm gentle natured dog he is just a bit of a goofball they play like that all the time. I know it sounds really brutal, but that river has always made that sound. Like when she oh, yeah, that growl wrestles that. with us in the morning with a pillow, she does that sound. It sounds, <laughs> if you were someone outside, you think, oh my God, the dogs are killing each other. But that's how she plays. Look, she'll start now. They literally love this and they'll do this for hours. Here she goes. So yeah, he's settling in really well. It's almost like he's always been here and has not any different, it's amazing. Just need to get his vet stuff sorted and then he's well on his way. I wish he knew like the adventures that Lyre had for him. What a different life to the one he had before. Do you want to get up? <laughs> Do you want to get up? Do you want to go for a walk? Still hasn't learned walkies yet, have you? Walkies. <laughs> Somebody has though. Behind, waiting patiently yeah, at the door. Look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you are literally. What? What are you doing? Remember, what is your brother doing? Could you do the Scooby Doo noise again? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us on this more personal vlog. Sometimes we're exploring ancient ruins, other times we're making banana pancakes and hiding from the storms. Love you guys, see you next Sunday. Also thank you to Steve who on last week's video said, you should have taken the little dog, I hope you get a puncture. Not very nice Steve is it? Not very polite, no. Not very polite is it Steve? Not very polite at all. <laughs> Shut up. So once we've got our residence once you've got our red as fuck, you know. Once you've had our red. <laughs>